Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my out of, pos out of position players' predictions. Now, as you guys do know, out of position predictions are, in general, they're kind of strange. Because you have to remember that when it comes to predicting out of position player, it's already hard enough to predict a player. Now you can predict a player that's going to be out of position, and there's so many options. Like, throughout history, there's been so many players that have played at least one play off, side, uh, off the ball, on the other side of the ball, on the other side of the line of scrimmage, whether it be a tight end or it be a wide receiver or a quarterback at moving to wide receiver and in a special play. There's been so many scenarios. So, yes, it's going to be a bit hard to do this, but we do know some of EA's favorites. We do know some of their patterns they like to follow when they do pick their position players. So, we have a template. Now, here's how it's going to go. So, Kralo did uh, reveal 90 overall Julian Edelman cornerback today to us. He said there are two better and two worse. So, that's five total. And then we have to imagine there's going to be two masters, right? So, I'm going to be doing predictions based on two masters, two better, two worse. We're going to probably do 84 overall, 87 overall, 90 overall, 91 overall, 93 overall. It's going to be our template for today. And before we get into the video and go through our predictions, show some of the stats we think we can get, just go on over to the, head on over to the Poodle Squad shout-out, guys. So today, if you do want a chance to shout-out the Poodle Squad, comment down below, Poodle Squad, like the video, turn that noti bell. For today's uh, shout-out, we got Adrian Green. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. And, of course, guys, if you're excited for out of position tomorrow, you definitely got to go ahead oh, and head on over to my reserve. 30% off right now if you use code Poodle at my reserve. Take advantage. That's double the discounts now. Plus, holiday coins have been discounted already. You can't go wrong. Don't waste your money on packs. Pick up all these coins. Build a God Squad, guys. Christmas is the best time to do so. But moving on, guys. Let's get into the video. So, first off, first things first. For the first person on the list, we're going we're gonna to take you guys over to the uh, online for our first person because this guy has gotten a car before. Action, guys. We have Cordell Patterson. Cordell Patterson. He, uh, I have Matt slated as a halfback as well. He did get a card back in Madden 19. Now, I have seen him. He he routinely has packages or a play out of the running back slot. I can entirely see him getting a card. It makes sense. It's like a low 84, right? It kind of makes sense. Now, Cordell Patterson card would probably have a decent speed. I, I, I think they'd give him a 90 this time around. 90 speed, 93 juke, of course, 94 agility. He's going to be super agile. He's not going to be anything crazy. He's not going to be a goal line back. He's going to be like a scat back, or even a guy you put at fullback. And you have him, you know, change, change your pace out of the fullback slot, maybe throw a pass or two to him. Um, I don't think he's going to be anything crazy, but I think I could see him getting a card, uh, to be honest. Now, coming up next, guys, so that's the 84 overall. Let me have our 87 overall. Now, the guy I see we get here is J.J. Watt tight end. I, haven't, I feel like we haven't seen him in a while. We did get him last year, but that was a high piece, and that's just weird. I don't think J.J. Watt tight end should be a high piece. It should be one of the lower pieces. And last year's card was decent. What I like about JJ Watt card is that he usually can run block, so he can run block well. He's a and just because and just because his run block's only 79, you're like, oh, I could put a tight end in there. I feel like he also has that strength and that big body because he's also technically an end defensive lineman that he actually gets some more some more hold than other tight ends may get. I like him as an extension of the run game. That's the beauty of this card too is like if you're a run team, you can put him at backup tight end, your second tight end, you can make a whole line of tight ends and linemen and just make a super jack run blocking unit. So much potential with J.J. Watt. Now, a J.J. Watt card would be nice, too, because you know what else he's good for? Those goal line play action pass that people like to run. Like PA power and stuff. You could have him there that if you do need to run, you could run. But if you need to check out of the run and go to pass, you can just you can let him run her out. He can decently run the route, and he will probably catch it. There's a lot of things you can do with him. I really do like this J.J. Watt card. I think I think it's useful. Like It's useful on any team because there's no team, no matter even if you're a god squad, any team could use a backup tight end that could block as well as a lineman. Any team could use a tight end that could catch it on play action as well as block if need be. Kind of be like what Kronk is in real life this year. I could I could definitely see a use of the JJ Walk card. Now next on the list, guys, is the Edelman, which if you guys haven't seen, go check out my other video. That is the actual reveal for the third player, 90 overall. That is Julian Edelman. We have another sneak peek tonight, so we'll know some more later. But in terms of our third player, that is going to be Julian Edelman, so we already know him. So definitely stay tuned for that. Next, guys, for our next prediction, we got Walter Payton, quarterback. Now, I want to talk more about Walter Payton, quarterback, guys. If you've ever played Madden since, like, Madden 13, like, if you've played since back in the day, a Madden Ultimate Team, Walter Payton, quarterback, used to be one of the glitchiest quarterbacks in Madden. Like, this is before the escape artist days, back when just, like, speed was speed. Walter Payton, around Christmas, just come out, and that was people's go-to quarterback. 
Nowadays, it's a little bit different because we need abilities and we need all this other stuff just to you know, thrive and survive. But Walter Payton quarterback used to be absolutely crazy. Just throwing the run was crazy. That was back before Dashing Dead Eye when throwing the run was like Dashing Dead Eye. So he used to have a crazy throw on the run, crazy speed. He would just sprint all around and you try to sack him. He would just break the sack every other time. And then he would scramble out of the pocket. He would just lower his shoulders and truck you over. <clears throat> That's the other thing, too, right? They gave him a truck. Now, again, this is Madden we're talking about. This is Madden 21. We're at a point where, yes, we understand that in Madden, quarterback getting hit may fumble. A lot of other things. But back in the day, back when truck used to just mold people over, he was kind of a goat. I would love to see another Walt Payton quarterback. Yes, he would probably have mid mid, mid to low 80s uh, accuracy across the board. But he would have great, like, he'd be great at read options. He'd be great at... Uh, Wildcat and again another guy that you can have on your team just for Wildcat like you can toss him in just for that like there's so many uses just for him um, you could always just put him in at quarterback if you have like a goal line quarterback blast play you want to do and you're scared that you know your Lamar will fumble or something you could use it with him again if you're a fast break guy maybe that's not the case or if you just want to do read options on the goal line and you don't want to fumble or you want to be able to truck into the end zone that's another thing when you're on the goal line with a quarterback you usually get a good look right quarterbacks typically get one-on-one on the goal line when you do read options and stuff. Now, here's the issue with quarterbacks one-on-one. -on -one. Kyler Murray and Lamar, you got to either try to juke them, but you may fumble, right? Or, that's it. But with Walter Payton, you can lower your shoulders and truck. You try that with Lamar, you're either fumbling or you're falling backwards, right? Walter Payton may actually just truck him over or not even just get the animation where he kind of trucks forward for like a little inch and falls forward with the ball. That's the other thing too, right? Quarterbacks don't get power animations usually. So, on the goal line, when you try to get through the goal line on like a blast or something... You get held, you're probably being held at the line where you were grabbed at. Uh, Walter might fall forward with some power, which could give you the easy touchdown in the red zone. Always a use for him. I would love to see Walter Payton back in the game, especially as a quarterback. That would definitely be fun. Now, for the next guy, we're going to come back to Madden screen for this one. Next guy could be so glitchy. I wanted to make him the master, but I refrain from doing it because I feel like it's so soon to give it to him. I honestly, I, I still think he's a good chance of getting it. And I think it would be one of the most fun masters we've had in a while. And that is Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons would be a great choice for the 93 overall player and master as well. Now, I would like to see an Isaiah Simmons linebacker card. Now, the reason for that is that Isaiah Simmons actually does play linebacker in the NFL. Uh, he's kind of like a hybrid player. He plays about everything. He plays safety, outside linebacker, middle linebacker, Mike. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just kind of hops in. Now, the thing with my Isaiah Simmons is this 87 rookie card that he had was super dominant. So, let's, let's reimagine him as a, as, a, as a linebacker, right? You put him in the box. You put him in the, in the, in the front seven, and now he's in the box. People don't really like linebackers this year, but lucky for you, Isaiah Simmons will have the safety build with a linebacker uh, linebacker logo, right? So, Isaiah Simmons, 93 overall, probably has a 94 speed, right? 94 speed at linebacker. That's absurd. Absurd. 94 speed at linebacker would be crazy. He ends up with like a 94 hit power. Ends up with, I think, getting a 90, a 90 zone this time because this time he'll have like an 85 zone and you can get locked down to 90. So, you get to 90 zone. And if we're really lucky, he maybe even gets a 90 man. But let's forget the man, right? He gets the zone. All that matters. He gets the zone, 94 speed, 94 hit power. You can either A, use him as the greatest user in the game. And by the way, he's 6'4". Don't forget about that. And you put Lurker on him. And you suddenly got... Or you can go ahead and let him roam in that zone and that height and that speed. Now, up to you guys. But either way, Isaiah Simmons, a middle linebacker or even outside linebacker, would be so glitchy. And I, I think you guys should all hope to see him in the game. It would be so much fun. His catching would be in the 70s after this. His change of direction, his change of direction too, that should come up to about like an 87, which is definitely great. Hopefully we can get that up a little bit more too. And then of course he has some other, you know, behind the card stats, like 82, 82 tackle, which was on the front of the card, but I failed to mention it. Um, it would just be great. This card's going to be absolutely insane if he does get one. I think Isaiah Simmons has to get one, like hopefully. He, he's like one of the players that has been openly talked about this year, just moving around the field and coming out of college, he can play in a lot of spots. Kind of like a Jabril Peppers, and you know Jabril Peppers always got out of position player cards, so kind of hoping. That's the case there. But moving on, guys, we do have the Masters now. Now, for the Masters, the first one I'm going to go with here, going back to the screen, it's in free safety. Now, Calvin Johnson free safety is a staple in Madden. We got him last year. Like I said, he's one of those guys that we just always get. I, I just can't see us not getting Calvin. We always get Calvin, right? It's kind of just like a habit at this point. Like, we, ju we just get Calvin. I, I don't know what it is. We always seem to get him. But hopefully, if we do get Calvin, it's affordable. We could rock with him any more than likely we would be, it will be because we do know how this works. Like, these cards, master cards, just, they tend to be super affordable. That's just how it is. 
Calvin Johnson would be super great. Now, here's the reasoning. Calvin Johnson, free safety, probably ends up with like a 92 to 93 speed. I don't think he gets a 91. I think it's a little bit higher this time around. I don't know why that was kind of low. Or even, let's say, 91, 92 speed, right? That's fine. Give him a power-up as well because he's, uh, he's a master. Give him a separate free safety power-up. So he ends up with a 92 speed, probably powered up, maybe 93. His zone gets to a 99, of course, because he can be powered up and chemmed up to a 99. And then his jumping's like a 96. So he ends up with an 88 hit power, 90 pursuit, all above 80 catching, including spec, which is important for the contested deep balls, 96 jumping, 92 speed, and a 99 zone. I'm telling you, this Calvin Johnson's oh, and, he, and he's six foot five, right? So he's he's super glitchy. Like, imagine this, right? Calvin gets burnt by Tyree Kill by like a yard, like you know, like that one little yard of Madden where like you know you're gonna get like you're burnt, and they're gonna catch it, but you're right there, but you're burnt. Calvin Johnson gets those picks, especially if you have like lurker on him or something like that. I'm telling you, you press Y and he just does a turnaround, 180, and puts his hands up because he's just so tall. He's 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 like uh, how Richard, it's like the Richard Sherman effect. Like he gets burnt, but he still plays defense because of how tall and how much length he has now calvin is like times two that plus the 96 jumping i'm telling you calvin johnson's super glitchy and then if you want to user him in the box or something crazy like that you want to use your safety in the box i'm telling you it's ridiculous calvin with that height the speed and everything is going to be fun and he gets to 99 uh, zone threshold so if you do want to leave him alone he isn't able to handle himself in his own and then we have one last guy which doesn't have a current card is out of position wide receiver this is the ltd one we had from a few years ago probably probably a while ago like madden 17 ish madden 16 madden 18 somewhere around there but this is what it looked like we had 94 speed deon sanders they gave him a 90 catching 90 spec catch 86 release 92 route running 87 catching traffic now in terms of route running they have split that i think this new deon sanders will probably end up with the deep he might actually get all three it really just depends he had great footwork in real life i don't know how they'll handle that uh, but if it's route running with 92, I'm hoping they give it to him again. Catching traffic can be low, obviously, it's Dion. But what we're going to want to see is pretty much just another Tyreek Hill type receiver, but way more elusive. He's going to have like crazy juking, evasive, and all that other stuff. He's going to have crazy jumping, crazy catching. I mean, his cornerback card is good catching. I think this Deion Sanders could be one of the most fun cards in the game as well. And he was always fun around Christmas. He would burn people. He would always make big plays. He was he was like a staple receiver for a while around Christmas. I really hope they bring him back. I mean, obviously they have the rights to him considering he's in the game. So hopefully, I mean, Deion Sanders and Calvin would be fun masters, followed by we have Simmons, Edelman, um, Cord Cordero Patterson. We have a few other guys as well in there. The list overall is great. Now, who would I personally use? I would use Deion, Calvin, Simmons, and I'd probably have some fun with Walter and T.J. Watt. Probably it, though. T.J. I mean, not T.J. Watt. J.J. Watt. The thing is, I wouldn't start J.J. Watt. Like I said, he would be, like, in a single back package or, like, an extra tight end. Or he'd be, like, in a double tight end package as a blocker. And then maybe on the goal line. And then Walter Payton could be a goal line back kind of a thing. Like, a goal line quarterback. It could be a lot of fun to be had with these. With this Dion, it would definitely be cool to see. Hopefully, they do bring him back. I, I could see it. I mean, we haven't had him in a few years, right? At least. But, yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out, turn on the noti bell, comment down below, Poodle Squad. Like the video, and of course, uh, the holiday discounts finally started, 30% off. Use code Poodle if you saw in the intro. Take advantage, go pick up some coins, and I'll see you guys later for the reveal. I'm out.